What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you join me in my kitchen for a vlog. Um, I decided that I would attempt to make some sort of like quiche concoction almost. Um, so I thought it'd be interesting. I kind of do a lots of different types of videos. So I thought it might be interesting just to show you me cooking. I do actually like to cook and my mum, God rest her, always used to say to me when I actually put my mind to it, I'm not actually too bad at cooking food. So I've just got in from work so I figured that I would give it a go. So welcome to my kitchen. Um, I guess I should probably run through the, um, the ingredients with you. That probably makes sense, wouldn't it? So let's have a quick look at that. Okay, so this is what we have, or what I'm going to attempt to put into sort of the various bits and pieces of mixture that you can see to try and make this quiche. We have, over here we have some tomatoes, um, I'm probably going to cut them into halves. We've then got bacon, um, going to fry that up with the onions, um, and then we've got some peppers which I'm going to include as well. There's some mushrooms which is going to go with the bacon. We've then got eggs which I'll use to beat up to make um, uh, the mixture uh, with some quark cooking cheese which I'll then fold in with the eggs. Uh, spinach, so the way it's going to go is bacon, uh, the veggie kind of stuff, then some spinach, and then the quark with uh, the eggs. Pour that on to make the mixture. I might put a little bit of good old fashioned season oil. Focus, focus camera, focus, move it away a bit. Move it away, it's gonna focus. I'm gonna focus, it's not gonna focus. Um, and then, something that I've not really used, some puff pastry, so we'll give that a bit of a try. Um, just to put over the top, just so there's a little something a little bit crunchy to go on there as well. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on with it. So what we're going to start with is we're going to chop up the various veggies that need chopping up. So the tomatoes, the mushrooms and the peppers. Uh, and then we fry said bacon, onions and mushrooms in the pan. Ta-da! Really not a TV chef. something to put things in. So this I can put all the vegetables in. Just put for the time being. Right. So depending on how you feel about mushrooms, some people like to leave the stalks in. Um, Emma, my partner, she doesn't like the stalks, so I'll I'll take the stalks out and then just chop them into quarters or, or whatever. What do you want, cat? You're gonna have to wait. Sorry, I've got animals off camera that are watching certain elements of it. Right, okay, so let's get the mushrooms. Uh, should be about enough, I think, so. Really easy, you just take the, pull it like that. The stalk comes straight out, so it's nice and simple to do. Just put it into there. And what I'll do is I'll just slice them into, um, into um, quarters. So, one, two, done, I'm in there. One, two. It's funny, you know, my mum was always a really, really good cook, and she got it from my granddad Tom. Um, and my granddad Tom was, was an amazing cook. Whenever we used to go and stay at his house, he always used to do the same thing. He'd always ask you, um, you'd have your breakfast, and then as soon as you finish your breakfast, he'd say, well, what do you want for lunch? Um, and then whilst you were eating your lunch, he'd say, well, what do you want for your dinner? And then while you were eating your dinner, he'd say, well, what do you want for your supper? Uh, it was very common to put on about half a stone when we went to go and stay at my granddad's. My granddad was always really good at baking. So he always used to make his own quiches from scratch. He used to make his own scones. My granddad's scones were amazing, by the way. Um, and salads and... Uh, quiches or corned beef, corn beef hash pies, all of that kind of stuff. Just really nice, amazing, amazing home cooked food. Um, I think we all kind of get a bit stuck trying to do everything as quickly and as easily as possible. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's nice to eat out, but also as well at the same time, something that I think is, is quite important. It's important to at least try to attempt to cook food, I think, make the effort to do it, because it's not it's not that tough once you get going with it really. As long as you can cook, 
or cut to some sort of degree or cut to instruction, then technically speaking you should be alright. There's, there's really no excuse, it's not hard to cook. And there's a lot of that feeding processed food and feeding food that's quick and easy, which is fine, don't get me wrong, there's, I've not got an issue with that, but you know, it's about health and it's about balance. And I know if that I eat crap for an entire week, I just get the shit. Which isn't the best thing in the world, let me tell you. Especially not at my age. Now we move on to the peppers. I could attempt to juggle, but it's just, it's not gonna, you should see my dog, he's sat looking at me going, please, will you drop food for me? Mate, do you like mushrooms? Come here. No, come here. No, no, come here. He just giving me his paw. There. That, you can hear, is my cat. Do you want, do you want a mushroom, cat? Here. Yeah. You won't eat it. I promise you, you won't eat it. See, it's not very nice. There you go. <laughs> right, so, peppers. I'm going to slice these up as well. Bit of a slice of the dice. I like peppers. They are quite tasty. Genuinely, I've got a cat stood between my legs, desperate to get some food. Right, peppers. So, what I want is I want chunks. Because that's, for me, that's a bit better with the quiches. I like it to be chunky when you bite through it. Can we try to sound more professional and failing miserably? Uh, right, not that I'm going to make you make you watch all of this, but just chopping up the martyrs, the little baby tomatoes. So just making an effort just to cook and, like I said, just make something from scratch every now and then. It's just, it's nice. I've still got to go to the gym as well, actually, funnily enough. Jesus. So this would be a nice little meal for when I get home. And it's relatively healthy as well, in fairness. So, although, with that being said, cooking cheese, I'm hoping that yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> should be alright, it's the right amount of fat. So the puff pastry that I'm going to attempt to put on probably isn't the smartest thing, but yeah, it is what it is. Right, hopefully you can hear me above the oven that's on and also the fan that's on as well. So, we have now our smoked lean diced bacon. Uh, so we pop some of that in. Make some sort of noise. Same with this stuff. Straight in. You never know if you're using too much or not, that's just one of them things, but I'd rather have too much ingredients for the time being and then I can just take away. Makes it a bit easier I suppose. I don't think there's anything that is better than the smell of cooking bacon. You know it's funny, when we moved into this house, what we would have got as standard is a four star burner. I'm just glad I got the five star burner because it just, it's, it's just better, better. And we got the double oven as well. So this one's like um, a bread making, baking grill type, and then that's your normal oven down here. There we go, that's that in. Now you need to add the onion. Now you can if you want, you can add the onion um, cold, and then bake it that way. I just like a bit of, um, I like the onions to be a bit crispy, I don't know if that makes sense. Cat, you're going to need to move. Watch. Kick. Move. Just to show you, cooking cheese that I'm going to use, it's that stuff. Don't focus on my face, focus on cheese. There we go. So that is quark cooking cheese and it is garlic and herb. So, hopefully oh, that should taste quite nice. Then in with the eggs. So, bacon and onion is now in the pan. You have to excuse the cat meowing again. She won't eat it. It's chicken. No, she'll eat it. Now she's eating it. The cat went off chicken for some reason. Right, so, layer of bacon and onion in there. I'm now we're going to do uh, mushrooms. them across. Door opening and closing with them. Right. Then we go in with peppers. Spread them across. 
like so. That's peppers. We then spread over the tomatoes. Nice few tomatoes in there. And then basically what we do, just spread it out so you've got a bit of an even gap on there. So it just looks quite nice. There we go, lovely. Don't worry if it looks a little gappy as well because hopefully the egg mixture will fill all of that up so you should be good. You'll be happy to know that I've turned off the fan now to make it a bit easier. So, we are now going egg mixture. Now you can use four to six eggs. I'm going to use all six because it's quite a big bowl to fill. Right, so what we need to do now, whisk the eggs, I also need a spoon. That we'll need chucking out all of those. And then we'll need that. That could go in there. Thank God we have a dishwasher because it all goes in there. Okay, so. A little bit of wrist action. You don't need to season the eggs or anything, though. The seasonal should actually work quite well on that, so we put the seasonal, like I say, on the top if you want to. Um, I don't have a big bowl. So, we take cheese. This is the garlic and herb stuffs. So, it's specific cooking cheese as well, so it should work quite well. That's the first one. And the idea is, is that you can literally you just smush it and fold it in. Go away, cat. It's not for you. Okay, so we now have it all mixed up. So the next thing to do is get your spinach leaf. And just drizzle a bit of your spinach leaf onto there. To the top. As best as you can. It's a little light covering. Voila. Then you take your mixture, hopefully this is enough, and you pour it over. So this is the puff pastry. Um, never used puff pastry before, so this should be interesting. And I know before anybody says anything, my head's cut off. So this all comes pre-rolled and everything, I think. I don't think I know. So let's find the beginning of it, which is there. <gasps> cool. And then we roll it out. Let's just measure how much we actually need, which is about about that much. I'm so I can't do this. Not even funny. Set so into there, and then cut like that. That's a bit we don't need. Take that, then the general idea would be for me, you take it and then you place it over, peel off the baking stuff, like that, pull, 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 bang, let's just have a quick look, okay, so we want this to come nice and down into there, so we want it to settle in. And the idea would be cut off any excess that you don't need. This knife is incredibly blunt, by the way. I'm just going to point that out. So take that off onto there. And same on the sides. So if we just into there and then. Oh, this is oh, this brings back memories of being with my granddad and watching my granddad do this. <laughs> happy mem happy memories. Same onto there, cut it all down. You don't need around the corners. Just gonna take that little bit and pop it under there. It was bothering me. And the idea is, is that we just, with your fingers, bring it around because the edges are thingy. If you just tap it round like that and tuck it in, like that, and into there, like that. Same onto there, turn it round. And then into there, 
like so. Move the puff pastry on the top, and then just to let a bit of the steam out, I'm just going to put little holes into it. Just a so this is what it looks like now. So we go into the oven, uh, and we're going to check it sort of every 20 minutes or so. Wish us luck. Here we go. Right, okay, the alarm's gone off, so is the moment of truth. Come in. So this is what we have created. It's massive. Right, you don't need to do that with it. Okay, so. Please don't drop it. So there we go, so that's what it looks like. So far. So the idea now will be that I cut it and see if everything's all right. We've, I've poked it a couple of times to, I'll leave that on just in case we need to cook it for a bit longer. I've, I've poked it a couple of times to see whether or not it's, the, the, to see, make sure that the eggs are cooked. So if you just stab it like in the middle, and bring it up. If you look on there, if it's, there's no like runny egg on the knife, then hopefully that's a sign that it's cooked. So, what I need to do now is need a plate. Okay, so little update. Um, the eggs were still a little bit runny, so we're going to put it back into the oven for a bit longer. So this is trial and error. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this. So we reckon about another ten minutes, and it should be okay. So uh, join us again in a moment. Yeah. I'm not even kidding, that is nice. Oh, garlic and herb and everything. Oh. Just got a bit of pastry in there as well. The seasonal on top really helps. That paprika is really nice. Baby, this is really nice. Good. I'm massively impressed with myself. Right, successful cooking video. Woo! If you've enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you're new to the channel, please also don't forget to subscribe. I'll put the ingredients and everything in the thing. Fuck me, this is nice. And we're out of here. Peace. <laughs>